now you see her, now you don't. Adelaide Bourne, singer-songwriter, thank you very much. Chandelier swinging superstar Sia Furla is without doubt one of this country's and indeed the world's most talented and enigmatic artists, one of our most successful music exports ever. This morning, in a very rare interview, she's taking off the wig and facing up to our camera ahead of the release of her first feature film, Music. Sia, it is lovely to see you, finally. How are you? Well, I'm actually excited to meet you. That's just uh, the dork in me, uh, you know. Uh, and... <laughs> You must be enormously proud. Young girl from Adelaide, you know, now you're one of the most successful artists in the, in the world. It's It's been an incredible journey. I've never had anything emblematic to show me. I give away the, my awards to fans or I, like, I don't. And then recently I built this house, the house that I'm in now. And I cried and cried and cried when I got here because this is the first time I realized how hard I've worked. So is that the house that Chandelier built? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Are you aware of how proud Aussies are of you and of what you've done? I'm, I don't know. I was always proud of Kylie Minogue, right? She's my friend now. Um, but I didn't know her, I was a fan, big fan. But I used to think when the awards would come up that it was unfair because it would always be Kylie getting, and now I think, now it's me that is always getting nominated. And I think that should be illegal. The Arias, if you're listening, don't, don't ever nominate me ever again. Someone else is better out there now. <laughs> well, there's a fat chance of them listening to that. <laughs> She can understand everything you are saying to her. And if you are happy, press this button. Very funny, troublemaker. <laughs> this film is, I was going to say glorious, because parts of it obviously are, but it's also sad and sort of, it's, it just operates on so many different levels. And Maddie Ziegler, I mean, is extraordinary. Set the scene with the, with the movie. Well, it's about a young teenager who's um, on the autism spectrum. She's quite low functioning. Kate Hudson's character, Zoo, finds herself the sole guardian of music, is Maddie's character's name. It's basically Rain Man the musical with girls. <laughs> The only negative thing I think I've seen about or heard about this is there was some controversy about you not casting an autistic person. Yeah, I did try and work with a boy and a girl who were about Maddie's functioning on the spectrum. And um, it was stressful. It was stressful for them. And I, we talked to their parents and we decided that it wasn't the right thing to do and also then I added all the dance numbers and it became a musical and then it just had to be Maddie. She's so great in the role. When we've seen the movie we come away with an understanding and, a, and an affection and love and support for for her character and, and other people who are in that situation. Well that's that's exactly what I wanted Richard and I'm really glad that you said that because for me I just wanted to represent that uh, that community that is totally un unrepresented. And I'm gonna help her just like she helps me. And I'm actually learning how to love because I love her. On behalf of all your many fans in Australia who've been following your career, um, thank you for the music, thank you for the movie, and um, good luck with everything. Thanks, Merry Richard. Christmas. Well, it's real nice to see you. <laughs> she's lovely, isn't she? See his movie Music Hit Cinemas on January the 14th. She's certainly a quirky one, but that Maddie Ziegler, who's been, of course, the star of her music videos and goes on Ellen and yeah, yeah. does all the heavy lifting for her, but uh, she's extraordinary in this film.